We're back, back together, everyone, okay? You don't keep hunting about David not being here. He's here. I just need to say that 30 seconds into the episode, so that way everybody knows that David is here today. And we're thrilled he's here, but just acknowledge everyone he's here. And we're happy he's here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, Chiapas, y bienvenido a The Cup. I've been meaning to do the, like, the thing all season, and I keep forgetting to do it, so I did it today. Uh, welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed pod. Other hand. Because uh, because it looks like a six. I got it today. Oh. I got it today. I literally thought about it, and I was like, <laughs> duh. I was like, why does Marisol do that every episode? I don't get it it looks like a six you mean that part i forward past oh stop that anyway hola tiapas y bienvenido a the cup the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality and you can always come to us first to quench your thirst i'm logan murphy say something gay gay i'm drinking water because hydration is important and i had a beer earlier so i need to not be hungover in the morning well, hello, hi, ole, ole, ole. And, uh, well, hi, uh, yeah, me, I'm here, Lana, your resident evil diva, here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea, because you know I love me some tea. And, yes, I was about to welcome you once again. Oh, and purr, because I was about to welcome you once again, because that's what I was about to do. But I was like, <laughs> oop, not that. Um, I am currently drinking water, because... Y'all, I think I'm coming down with something because my body is counter-reacting everything I'm trying to do. But mm. I'm still here and I'm powering through it because I am not missing the Monstraga. And I mean it. Her. <laughs> but if I was drinking something else, I'm drinking water right now. I'm drinking my cup mug though if I was drinking something else. Which could be used as anything else can be, y'all. Uh, holder for anything that I'm using it for my office supply holder right now because why David's not David's prep holder. I mean why not? So get your cup mug is multifaceted. It's definitely multi purposeful and uh it's yeah, very stylish. Office. Very stylish if it's a good placeholder for something. But you can get that or any of our cup merch at yep any of our cup merch at Lana G's Creations Etsy.com the link will be in the description below. And we do ship internationally and domestically, so there are no it uses. And I'm looking at you, Mexico. We've been here all this time. We're still looking at you. Get your cup merch. Her. <laughs> well, um, I'm David Healy, and I don't have a cute intro, but I do have a cute shirt. Um, I decided to wear my Gigi Good shirt. Oh. With her uh, braces and metal mouth, since we have a few people wearing braces um, on this season. But um, yes, I know, I know, I know. I said the episode before last, I said I'm here for every episode. I'm not going to miss any. Mm -hmm. But you know what? They changed the schedule up on me. They changed <laughs> the reporting schedule up on me without my knowledge. And that's a lie, and you know it. <laughs> well, lies, just, lies, no. and fairy tales. It is not a lie. We had a different date planned to change it to, and then it got changed to a different date, and I couldn't make that one. So I apologize. I didn't mean to be a liar. <laughs> I guess I am a liar. But guess you what? I'm, gonna come for us <laughs> I'm here for this episode, <laughs> and I'm going to be here for the finale episode. So we're good. Um, we're good. But I also am drinking. Well, we need to just dive right in because this episode is full of all the things. Everything happened in this episode. Everything that could possibly happen in this episode happened in this episode. Um, but we come in, uh, Johnny welcomes us in as always. Uh, and we find out uh, that, oh no, wait, before we start, because uh, this was the very first thing we saw, and I definitely made a mental note to not forget about talking about it. Um, I 
appreciated seeing the uh, dedication at the start of the episode uh, to Jesus Ociel Banya Saucedo and their partner, um, Dorian Daniel Nieves Herrera, um, who were both found deceased in their home the day prior to the episode release. Um, Jesus was the first uh, non-binary electoral magistrate uh, in the country of Mexico. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna call it as it is, their deaths were a hate crime. So that's fucked. Um, and I really appreciated seeing the uh, memorial. Memorial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dedication at the start of the episode. Um, so rest in yeah. power to you, lovely. I did not know that. I I saw the the memorial, but I didn't know who they were, and I didn't do the research. So I'm glad you well, did. Now so you know. Let us know. Yeah, wow, that's. It was all over my feed um, the day that it happened. So it it's. Not good, but we're still going to be here. We're still going to uplift all of the uh, queer voices that need to be uplifted. And uh, that's what we aim to do on this podcast total. That's kind of why we cover all things drag is because it's queer representation being uh, pushed to the forefront of societies around the world. So with that being said, now we introduce the episode. Um, and Johnny lets us know that the runway theme for this week is La Mas Galardonada, or the most extravagant. Uh, mm. Come with your your most extravagant look. The most awarded is what? Sometimes. What? Well, the subtitle says it's awarded. I was like, yeah. <sighs> what else? The concept I'm is very, like, Award show, Met Gala, like that is the that is the the theme. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe uh, some movie inspirations too. Maybe I enjoyed it. We'll talk about it. But mm -hmm. um, we then get Alexis coming in, looking beautiful as always. Nurse uh, giving Alexis. Nurse, nurse, nurse Alexis. <laughs> nurse coming in, giving everyone some medicine so they can relax. And next thing you know, we find out that the Chiquireto for the week is skydiving. In three minute quick drag. <laughs> In three minute quick drag. <laughs> skydiving in quick drag. I loved it personally because I didn't have to do it. <laughs> I was like, this is cute. This is lovely. Glad I don't have to do this. Yep, I, I have zero desire to do that. No, I I would do it. He would. I actually would do it. I think it's very freeing to I do would that. Rather if I had somebody on my right. back, sure. No, no, I would not. I think I'm the opposite. I don't want to ever bungee jump. I have no desire to bungee jump. I don't want any string to be the only reason keeping me alive is this little cord that could snap at any second. I don't want that. I have more faith in a parachute than I do of that little bungee snap cord. So, yeah, no, I think I would, I would bungee, I would not bungee up. I would skydive if I had a partner on my back because like, I don't want to do it by myself. I'm not free falling by myself because yeah. I'm scared I pulled the wrong cord. So, <laughs> and I just keep falling. But if I had someone who trained to do this and been doing this like several times a day, yeah, sure, why not? I would do it. Yeah, it's like with with skydiving. If if the parachute doesn't open, you're gonna have a quick death. Yeah. If the bungee cord breaks, it, it might not be so quick. It might be pretty painful. Although you would know for quite a while while you're falling, like, oh, I'm about to die. It didn't open. I'm about <laughs> yeah, to die. I would, I would rather it's not. Coming in a couple that. of minutes. <laughs> I would rather just know I'm about to die and just start preparing myself for like I'm going to die than have the cord just say like what if the cord is just like. Bam, and I'm slammed against the rock, and then I'm pulled back up, and bam, slammed against the rocks again, and then up again, and bam again. Absolutely not. Yeah. Just get me on the um off. I just know my parachute's not opening. I'm gonna die. I'm giving all my last and final rights and wheels into my head. I'm like, oh Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm about to die. When I open my eyes, let me see you in heaven, because I'm about to die, and I can just. Why the hell did you do this to me? 
I will this is why I'm not doing either thing. <laughs> <laughs> I will prepare myself for the death, but yeah, I would rather do that before I get slammed repeatedly against the same rocks over and over again and slung back in the air. <laughs> well, sure, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this is a but, super positive way to start. The- <laughs> such a positive, so. well, that's such a positive way to start the episode. <laughs> now, um, originally, Alexis was like, okay, well, if you don't do it, then uh, you lose. You give up your space in the finals. Everybody was like, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh I kind of wish they had done it. I'm I wish they would have done it that way. I wish they would have because I'm that and then the I'm kind of and, and then I'm kind of mad that the three people that did didn't automatically get spots in the final. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of annoyed I, by that. I'm 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 uh, no, I'm not because I'm I would be very upset that two people that didn't do it would have been people who I wanted to see in there. No. <laughs> if you really want to win La Mastraga. True. I mean, facts are facts. I think if they would have kept that and said you have to do it, incentivize people for doing well in the challenges and not punking out. And I think if that was the incentive, I think they would have done it. Yeah. They would have done it. Like we ain't get this far into the competition to get scared now and lose my spot. If they spot was up for grab, now I wouldn't say that that it is, and then after they do it, be like, ah, now we're just kidding. They're like, <sighs> Like that, but how better do you feel about yourself now? You feel so much freer now. You've done it. <laughs> you conquered your fears. Like I would have let them continue to believe it all the way up to half they did it. I'm like, ah, no, actually, we're just kidding. The music video is what's going to cause what, who goes and who doesn't. Like I would have did something like that. And they would have hated me, but <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> and we got we got some people being very concerned about skydiving. Some people being like, well, I'm going to do it. Okay, I guess I'm doing this here today. Mm-hmm. I loved Kelly being like, I'm really afraid of this, but like, I'm still going to do it because I want to have a good time. Mm. <laughs> I'm just like, I love Kelly. <laughs> my, my favorite part, I think, was when uh, they all got the medicine. <laughs> Kelly said, if this they is got the one. medicine and they were all like, we're getting sleepy. And I'm like, come on, acting 101. <laughs> Kelly's I'm like, like why wasn't moves. the acting challenge earlier in the season uh, better than this? Like, <laughs> yeah. And they all wake up and <laughs> I could. And then the subtitles. I don't know if you you all might not be able to appreciate it, you viewers who didn't have subtitles on, but Alexis had subtitles about them like getting sleepy and then it randomly like flipped the subtitles upside down. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, oh no, what is his name? The the person that does um, the subtitles. I follow him on Twitter now. He's oh, lovely. He's, he's great. He's Look, absolutely gay lovely. Gay applause for him. Oh, yeah. can, we, can we talk Trans for a slight? Shock? Trans shock is my new favorite. Oh. Ever. Trans shock I and trans loved, gasp. I was like, I loved stop. trans gasp so much, and I'm like, oh my I could, I need like, can I, can I adopt that and just like non-binary gasp? Because I want and be and be gasp and be gasp. <gasp> Look at all that and be shock. Look at that and be shock. I can't believe me it. watching Survivor this week and be shock. And me clutching of the pearls. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. That would be so funny. That would be so funny. I'm but yeah, I laughed at the that. The, sub, the, the uh, subtitles had me weak this week. I'm If y'all not watching, I know y'all probably not watching the subtitles, but it had me weak. It had me weak this week. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. But when they, they yeah they when they flipped it upside down I was like are you saying that we, we look like we crazy I literally like, had to rewind it like, <laughs> just, I love that it was so funny my favorite part of this whole thing was uh, Wanda was like I was standing in there and I was like I'm not doing it I'm not doing it 
then I would I put on a harness. And I, I like, signed I'm the release, it. and I'm like, I'm not I'm doing it. I'm not doing the harness. I'm not doing it. I'm signing the wave. I'm not doing it. I get on the plane. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I still took the plane. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I jumped out of the way. And I'm like, is it too late for me I'm, not to do it? <laughs> so I love so water bad. so much. Oh, I was like, that made me laugh so hard. I was like, wanna? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny to me. I think that was the funniest part of this whole episode to me. I laughed. I paused. I had to laugh some more. I rewound it back to laugh again. It was so funny so to me. Much. It was so funny to me. And it was early when I watched this. I watched this first thing this morning and I was laughing so hard. I was like, are you kidding me? Oh, thank and thank. But yeah, so we only see, we only end up with three people of the actual top six doing it. Um, yeah. Adiez immediately is like, I'm not doing nope. this. <laughs> and Kylie's is like, I would like to stay on the ground, please. <laughs> the Mother Kylie's. needs to stay. Madre needs to stay on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, drinking game for episode ten. Drink every time Kylie or someone referred to her as mother. And I mean, for me, she is mother. I love Kylie's, but um, <laughs> just like, girl, what is this? So funny. And then, so we see uh, Kelly do it. Mm -hmm. Good for Kelly. Good for Kelly. We see Juana do it. Good for Juana. Good for we see... Um, Catriona do it. Catriona do it. And Electra and goes up. Mm -hmm. But does not come, come back. back. Down. Not that way, anyway. She comes back <laughs> down on the plane. <laughs> she <laughs> said, turn she this plane around and land. <laughs> She said, turn this plane around and land because I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I was like, oh, come on, Alexa. You up there. Just do it. She's like, no, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. I can't do it. I can't. I was like, oh, my baby. She just couldn't do it. Well, that's okay. Uh, okay. Because she's alive. And who knows? Maybe that parachute was the one. It was the one that wasn't going to work, so. <laughs> not um, that. Sure, David. Whatever you say, yeah. David. Sure, David. But. but. Yes. So they all get back into the Knicks uh, work lounge. And we find out that that was just the mini challenge. Yep. <laughs> And then we find out that the mega challenge, mega challenge. Ooh, it's bad. Ooh, it's a mega challenge. is to star in the official music video mm -hmm. for the new remixed version of Posa Que Posa, Ooh. sung by Jerry Mejia. Lovely. Mm -hmm. I immediately put it on my playlist, to be honest. <laughs> I was like, this is so good. I all of the Lamas music is so good. I cannot wait to hear all of the other seasons albums. Like I think that's gonna be really fun to hear mm -hmm. all of the music from the other seasons too. Um I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for I'm thrilled for us getting to experience all of the Lamas. Because mm -hmm. there's gonna be a lot of drag programming in 2024, but mm -hmm. I'm also very excited to experience all of Lamas, which I think is we will be doing it, y'all. I don't know if we're doing it immediately after this season is over. I think we're going to take December off because we deserve it. <laughs> Quite honestly, we deserve it. <laughs> and we'll probably start Lamas season one in January unless we get an announcement of Todas Lamas happening sooner. And then in that case... Of course, we're going to have to cover the Love Lamas, despite not knowing most of the people on the cast, probably. If any. Right. There might be some. We know the Love Lamas filmed after Lamas. Yeah, I just wouldn't six. have thought they would have enough time to prepare, but who knows? I think it was like six months between. Oh, was it? Yeah, it seems like it. Seems like they filmed it very recently. From at least what I understand, comments let us know. Y'all know the tea. Yeah. Um, Y'all know the tea much more than we do, and we appreciate you letting us know the tea. Um, but yes, we are doing the music video for Posa Que Posa. 
Um, Electra for winning last week's runway challenge gets to pick the order that they go in. I didn't think this was all too inconsequential. I will say, I think the only person that came out of this music video challenge after seeing the whole thing, I think the only person that came out at a slight disadvantage, I would say honestly, was Kylie's. And the only reason why I say that is because most of her section was the chorus. And that was kind of it. She got like part of a verse. I mean, I don't think Juana even got the chorus. It was just a verse for Juana. Oh, was it really? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I thought she got a little bit more. I'm not uh, sure, honestly. Yeah. But, but I, I love the filming of this. It was very yeah. quick. Like, quick little, like, you see a little bit of everybody doing it. They didn't show us too much. I'm like, okay, perfect. Let's and I love I move. love that they were like, you get three takes, you get a close-up, mm -hmm. you get a medium, and you get a full mm -hmm. shot. And I'm like, I love this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we're learning here, everyone, throughout this entire season, which we've known since the start of the season, is just like, Lamas is kind of superior to Drag Race in most things. Yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So uh, they do the filming of that. We get back to the Knicks lounge. David, you want to speak on it? Because it's just a lot. Yeah. It, so we start at 100 in the Knicks lounge. We start right at away. 130. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. So immediately as we, as we get to the Knicks lounge, Kelly opens up the floor and she's kind of done with with uh, some of the comments that are being said, I guess, uh, this season. Um, it sounds like there was some drama on the, the van ride back to the studio, and uh, she feels like a lot of things were transphobic. And we, there was no footage, so it's really hard for us to give our full input. Um, I'm going to trust... I'm going to actually trust everybody i'm gonna trust everybody i'm giving everybody the benefit of the doubt here i i think kelly's feelings are probably valid but i think the people who are standing up for themselves i think they're probably valid too so it's it's really hard to say anything but um it sounded like the person she was most upset with is Chantel. um she straight up said i'm not gonna be friends with her after this um yeah so i like she doesn't go into a lot of details, um, but yeah, she clearly, she's clearly upset with. She calls her a piece of trash, even. Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm curious, but also I'm like, it's probably not my business. But also, kind of <laughs> we know that there's pro there's probably something that has happened in the house of sale that we are missing oh, yeah. that will inform us on everything i'm so sorry everyone we just have not had time to watch any of those we are doing our best but there just is not enough hours in the day to also watch the elsa sale and i know that we would be way more informed on all of the things happening this season i do appreciate the comments that have been like oh yeah literally everyone was coming for kelly last week great to know uh, Chantel and Demetra specifically coming for Kelly last week. Great to know. Uh, it's just like, is it informing my opinions on some people a little bit? Yeah, because I actually have gone back and looked at a few of them. Mm -hmm. um, and some people do not look that great, specifically Chantel. Okay. So... Can I be honest about my little two cents here? Of course. Mm -hmm. And I know it might not be popular, but honestly, I don't care. I don't care about the drama. I don't care about who said what about what and who said what about who. All I want to do is watch a television show about drag queens, be entertained by their amazing looks and by their amazing talents. I don't care about your, dra your, your backstage drama. I don't care about what happened. And yeah, I could go back and watch... Um, the uh, after show and get caught up but like Logan said first of all we don't have time number two what is that going to do for me once I do watch it how is that going to enrich my my day and my time to watch somebody else 
be upset and be hurt and their feelings hurt or they're mad and it's not going to affect me any kind of way that for me right now in the where i am right now in my life i don't really need anybody else's drama because guess what i have enough drama in my own life that i don't need nobody else's drama to add on top of my own drama so i just this is an escape for me so i under and i feel like everybody's opinion and their feelings are valid i agree with david i give everybody the benefit of the doubt their feelings probably were valid in that moment they said something and they might have felt that way and that's fine people might not agree with it and that's fine too all of this can be right we can all be right about you were transphobic no i wasn't and this is how i felt well this is not what i intended well this is what i felt fine fine all of these people on this show are adults so i'm gonna let the adults handle their business between themselves and all I want to watch is the runway looks and the performances. That's all I care about, honestly. So I will not be going back to watch any of the uh, after shows. I'm going to say that now. I'm not doing it. I'm not Fair. doing it. Fair. If y'all want to do that, please do. And let me know what happened afterwards if you want to or not. I don't care either way. But I just want to be entertained for an hour by some really amazing drag artists. And that's what they're doing. And so that's all I'm going to focus on. Yeah. But for real, Lana, I would say that for real, what you're saying is very valid. And uh, for real, I think that. <laughs> they were that, they were that, they were that, they were that. I love Kelly. I don't care. I don't care her perception. I don't care what other people think about her. I am obsessed with her. They were that. <laughs> Do you know how much you say that? I didn't even realize how much I said it. And my so favorite weird. part of the entire <laughs> my favorite part of the entire thing is the fact that she literally had no king idea how much she said it. She did, and then went right back in to say it was like, and yep. for real, and for real. Though. I was like, she said it twice in a row, twice. and that's what made her realize. Oh, oh, I, did, uh, I, did say that a lot. I was like, oh, God. I love Kelly. I appreciate that because I know. I am the same way with like. I will say like so many times in a sentence, and I'm like, well, that's just what it that's what it is. And I'm like, that's just and I realized I caught myself doing that very much when I was in high school. I was like, girl, you say like a lot. And it's grown into my adult life. I very much still say like a lot. So I try to calm down on the likes, girl. There's too many likes in one sentence. But I get you, Kelly. I feel you on that. And you know what? Just say for real, girl. It's fine. Be for real. Yeah. For real, for speaking, real. Of, oh. speaking of likes, make sure to like this video. <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> Thank you. I know. But you know what? Um, what? I think for future seasons, or for past seasons, I should say, that we talk about, maybe we need a Mexican correspondent to fill us in on all those extra videos that we don't have time for. So we maybe. might have to get some applications out there. I know we might need to Let us know. Stop, stop. if you are if you know how to speak English and uh, Spanish or Mexican, it, uh, please uh, keep not us speaking stop. Mexican. Lana. I mean, I, I just want everybody. I want to include everybody. Mexican, Mexican Spanish, slang and Mexican and slang and all of that. And, things okay. we don't know, you know, Portuguese, Spanish, all of it. All the things, Chilean, I don't know. All the things, y'all know all the words, all the speeches, all the... <laughs> because my simple American self only speaks English. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> I'm okay with just... that. I'm okay with that. I love it. You love me before it, and I'm okay with that. But yeah, if y'all want to help us out for future references, you know what to do. Uh, uh, her. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's all something... I had from the next lounge. I oh, know it's, not, it's not. Oh, oh no, because we did talk about the HIV yeah. uh, of it all yeah. and how yes. children with HIV, how do they feel yeah. about that? And that was a deep conversation. And then we got Electra talking about her experience <sighs> and how she dealt with it. And I was just like, wow, you just, even though we've known about her, her, um, her having HIV. It's just something to hear her talk about it more and more in depth. And it's like, wow, people have gone through so much and she's gone through so much of a journey in her life and she's still mm -hmm. out here thriving. And I just can't do anything but respect her and hope that she has a long, long, fulfilling, fulfilling life, 
even with this disease, because we come so far in the way we can handle that disease. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you're going to be all right, girl. You're going to be all right. And I like to see the good side, but we do know that there is the other side to this whole situation and everybody's not so lucky. So uh, it's just, it's just a hard, hard message all the way around. But yeah. Yeah. And, and she brought up how um, she hadn't had sex until she was 18 and on her 18th birthday, it was either that or one time after that, that she contracted HIV and it's, like it's easy to feel invincible sometimes mm -hmm. and feel like, yeah, it's not, it, that's the people who are always having sex. Those are the people mm -hmm. that are super mm -hmm. promiscuous, but and we, it could take one time. Yep. What hit home for me even more is we literally just heard this exact same story yep. on Drag Race Brazil with yep. Helena Maldicha. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like, God, sometimes yeah. I hate being gay. I love being gay, but sometimes I hate being gay. And you know what? I, I I feel that in so many ways because it's like as much as I love being a woman, I hate being a woman. As much yeah. as I love being black, black. sometimes yeah. I hate being black because yeah. it's like the hardships and the and the foolishness that you got to deal with being a woman and dealing with these stupid men out here or and stupid women. It's like so dumb. And then being black on top of that, you got to deal with stupid bigoted people on top. It's so dumb. You hate it, but in the same breath. You love it because oh yeah, who do it better than you? Who do it better than your community? Nobody do it better than your community. You just you just gotta love yourself. <sighs> and on that note, we don't have the theme music for it, but I just love their music. I just want to say it it's stuck in my head every time I watch an episode. One song so gets so stuck in my head. That's stuck in my head all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, I love it. Yeah. I love it, love it, love it. Can we this talk about one too? Go ahead. Uh, can we talk oh. about our judging panel here for a second? Because this is the best Mighty Soul has looked all season. For me, yes. this is my favorite look of Mighty Souls. This is my favorite look of Letals. This is my favorite look of Jaddy's. And Raquel looks great. Yeah. They all look That sounded that. shadier than I mean that I meant it to be, but no. <laughs> Raquel does look great. This isn't my favorite yeah. look of hers, but she looks incredible. I don't know that it's my favorite from Letal. Yeah, oh, okay. I think I have a different one from Latal that I like more than this one. And oh I think no, I my favorite is the rose. Yeah, that was rose? that was that yeah, was the amazing. Rose the that tree, was amazing. the tree was really the good. The tree is so good too. Oh. And then that gold one, which it was the round thing. Oh, so good. Should we do as part of our finale coverage? Should we do our judges' favorites? Do you think that'd be fun? I mean, if you have the looks, we can. I can pull all of them. <laughs> I feel like. For me, I like Marisol's look. I don't think it was my favorite, but because I don't like the boots with this. Like, that's the only thing I don't like with this dress is the boots. I'm like, not those boots with this dress because this dress is gorgeous, but you put them gray boots with this? Nah. But other than that, she looks stunning because her hair is amazing. That's good hair. That's good hair. And the men look, these men look, they look very good. They look they great. Look good. Los Rules. Looks good. Sure. Are they musicians? Because they look like musicians. I think so. I don't know what they. I didn't watch because you know, y'all know I skip past the intros mm -hmm. and see right to the runway start. Sorry. Uh, Sorry creators, about. producers, entertainers. Okay. Good for y'all. So I think mm -hmm. they're like. It seems like they're just. Uh... Are they? They're like another version of the Brunos, it seems like, from what you. I'm gauging from their socials. Good for uh, them. Let us know otherwise, because again, hi, we don't know these people, but um, let's, good. yeah, they do look good. Everybody looks good. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Everybody looks good. Music video. Hey. I, I had to very quickly pull them mid podcast because. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, David, speak on the next lounge. <laughs> We're not I mean. kind to Kelly here. <laughs> 
okay, I did my absolute best to screenshot everybody at their absolute best. And unfortunately, Kelly has a lot of facial movements. Okay. I love you, Kelly. I mean, Electra's wasn't that free either, but it's still good. Electra still didn't good. have a lot of choices to choose from. So I, understood. I did I understood. the best. You did the best well, that you could with well, the time that you had. The only the only person that looks hundred percent great in this in these photos, if I'm being honest, is Katriona. <laughs> Katriona and Juana are the ones for me. I mean, Kylie's is okay too. But Kylie's yeah. is fine. But <laughs> yeah. Who did we who did we like? Who did we dislike? What did we think? I thought the music video overall was great. Me too. I was mm -hmm. surprised. I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised by a lot of them here. Um I will say the standout for me, and I wasn't sure if she would get credit for it or not, but Electra, she was giving all of the face in this performance. Uh, so she was my favorite, but pretty closely followed by Catriona and um, Aries. Um, and then Kylie's was, wasn't too far behind those three. And for me, the, the people that, that kind of faded were the, the starter and the finisher, uh, Juana and Kelly. I love them both, but they were not the standouts of this music video. Mm -hmm. I would agree. I think I would agree with that. I think um, Electra was, she gave it all, everything she had on in this video. And I was very happy to see that because I didn't expect to see that. No. Um, but I was very happy to see that. I think Kylie's and um, Catriona did really, really well for me. I, I enjoyed, like, I wasn't shocked by that. I wasn't shocked right. at all by Kylie's and, and, and Catriona. I thought they were I knew they were going to do well, and I wasn't surprised. Yeah. Ariel, same thing. Wasn't shocked. I knew she was going to do well. Yes. I wanted her to do... What did I say? Ariel? Ariel. You did. These two both back to back. <laughs> no, I know. Me. I'm going to be happy to not have to talk about Ariel and Ariel together. <laughs> I mean, it's so good, I type the wrong I, name all the time. <laughs> I, I just, so Ariel is... Yeah, I, I knew she was going to do well as well. I was shocked that Kelly and Juana didn't do as well as I thought they were going to do. Yeah. I thought for sure Kelly was going to do much better, but I think she was so all over the place that you just couldn't get. It, it was too too wild mm -hmm. and not contained enough where like and Electra she, was very... Right. And, mm -hmm. and I think Kelly's used to performing uh, like all over the stage and yes. she had such a limited space here. Yes. She didn't know what to do with herself. Yeah. She well, they even say that to Kelly in, well, yeah. And they even say that to Kelly in um, the critique as well. It's like, you have a lot of frenetic energy. You just need to learn how to contain it. Mm -hmm. Cause even when mm -hmm. we see her in the lip sync challenges, um, all the ones that she does, she is back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And the only mm -hmm. time she's staying in one place is if she's in a split. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I love that because I do love those entertainers, but I also appreciate an entertainer that can just stand and deliver in a small space. And I think I absolutely agree with both of you. Uh, my standout actually was Adia's. Um, I really appreciated what she was doing. Seeing, seeing her, plus seeing Juana, uh, Electra, and Adia's lip sync for the first time, really, yeah. mm -hmm. on this season, I was like, this is cool, and we'll talk about it more later, because we get to see more of them lip syncing, but, um, yeah, I, and these are literally, these are literally the lip sync pairings, I didn't mean it to be this way, but this is literally also the order it sure of it. Is. This is literally the order of it. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't That's I so didn't funny. catch them until right now, but <laughs> you're looking at your lip sync pairs for later. We'll talk about it. <laughs> spoilers. But, um, spoilers. Spoilers. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I I think my top two would have been Arias and Catriona. But mm -hmm. I think Electra okay. did fantastic as well. Kylie's did a lot better than I thought she would, but also she said she's a music video girl. And she proved mm -hmm. here that she is a music video girl. I don't think Juana or Kelly did bad. It's no. just Juana for me had a little bit too, it didn't have enough energy and Kelly had too much energy. And I'm like, I, I need them to, I need them to come together and share their energy and then it would have been fine. <laughs> but overall, I was thoroughly impressed with this music video. This whole video though, um, when I looked at Kylie's, she reminded me of an actress. I don't know if either of you all will know her, but her name is uh, Sophia Butella. Um, I'm familiar. 
Yes. Because mm-hmm. she she often has her hair very similar to how Kylie's mm-hmm. is here. Um, mm-hmm. That's a that's a compliment though, because she's, she's a compliment. Gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's stunning. She's gorgeous. Absolutely. La más galardonada. Ooh. First up, Juana Guadalupe de Jesus, this stupid bitch. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let me start on Juana here. So she had a beautiful gown to start mm-hmm. off, but she was like, no, 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 no. That is not enough. I can't just come out in a beautiful gown. I have to up it. And she sure did. I loved everything she did with these clouds and the rain, the jewel, like raining out of the clouds. I thought that was so cool. Like it, I've never seen anything quite like this. We've seen cloud looks, but it's like, she's like, I'm not going to, um, they're going to be red clouds. They're going to match my dress. So I thought it was was beautiful. The jewels all in the hair, I really mm-hmm. loved. Her makeup was so good. She's really proving that she absolutely deserves a spot in the finals. And we 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 saw her as a, a big threat early on. In fact, um, all four people that we were really high on in the first episode, they're still here in, in yep. the top six. So... Um, I really love this. This is one of her best looks. Do you want to say something, Logan? I was going to say, I'm pretty sure, I need to look it up, but I'm pretty sure three of those four people that made the finale were people that were automatically, or like the first people announced for the season. Whoa. So I don't know if that, I'm going to look it up while you give your critique, Lana, but I, I, like, I don't know if there's any sort of correlation there, but sorry, go ahead. No, no, you're fine. Oh, this dress was stunning. This dress was beautiful, and we knew this dress was, like, when she turned the corner, I was like, ugh, beautiful, beautiful gown, but I'm with you, David. She was like, no, 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 not just go come out with this beautiful gown, because this gown can stand alone, and I could have put the jewels in my hair and it stands alone, but no, 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 I'm going to give you red rain cloud with all these jewels coming out of the rain cloud, dripping all over me on my arm, all down my side. I got rain clouds in the tra- the bottom of the dress, the train of the dress, the big shoulder cloud. It was so beautiful. And then all the jewels in the hair. That's a good wig. That's a good hair hat wig. And to wrap it up with all those, she looks so good. And the makeup with the jewels on the face, by the way, just it's, a, it's the details that makes an outfit just so good. And she paid attention to the details and she looks stunning. This was so beautiful. When she walked in, I was like, <gasps> gasp, like trans gas, gay shock, all of the things. I felt all of that. I was like, oh, this woman's gasp. I did woman, it. I was going to say, what, gasp. <gasps> woman gasp. <gasps> that was me. Because, oh. <laughs> Black stunning. woman gas? Because that, that, that is different. <laughs> woman gas. Black woman gas. <gasps> we put a little extra something. The, drama, something the flare. The flare. The, <laughs> and I know all y'all going to be trying to copy my. But it's okay. It's, and it's it's so specific. It is the Lana gasp. It's the Lana. Ooh, that, that part. Yeah. See there? Mm-hmm. But yes, yeah, stunning. So I did find out my information about this. I'm actually mm-hmm. going to save it till the end because I think okay. it's interesting to talk about. But Good to know. Uh, what I thought was the case is actually the case, and we'll talk about it. I want to talk about Wanda, though, because this is stunning. This is one of my favorite things on this season. She looks so fucking good. The way that these clouds are constructed across the entire garment is so beautiful. It is jeweled within an inch of its life. I don't always love a jeweled wig like this, but I do really love this jeweled wig because it's so simple, but it's so perfectly done just with the rubies. I think they're rubies. Mm-hmm. Um, it could be... Crystals. It could be whatever. It could be Peridot. I'm not sure. But let's see the red one, right? I think. Uh, regardless. I think they're Gushers. Not Gushers. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that you just said that. Um, Please do. Her, make, her makeup here is absolutely incredible. This is one of my favorite things Juana has given, and she's given some of my favorite things this season. So. Mm-hmm. Her. Yeah. Of course. Uh huh. Duh. Obviously. Mother. Mother. <laughs> it's so full. It's Duh. so overflowing. It's everything. David, somehow I 
don't think that's gonna be the last time we see your full pep this episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, I figured as much. Mm-hmm. Now, how about with the next one? <laughs> Miss Adias. Okay. I so when this came up on my screen, I got about five seconds into it. I had to rewind, run out of the room, knock on my roommate's door. Come look at this. You have to, please, please. Um, I freaking love this. So I I like Edward Scissorhands was one of my favorite movies as a as a kid. So immediately when I realized that's what this was, I was like, this is incredible. Like you cannot do a better Edward Scissorhands than this as a drag look. Like she got everything. Like there's so much detail in this. And the 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 actual hands were incredible. The makeup, like showing that she cut her face, like oh I I I honestly think this is my favorite thing I've seen all season. I mm-hmm. was living for this. In fact, I'm just going to say it now. I I think there's a good chance that Aries has had my best my favorite package of drag looks from any drag season that I've seen. She's mm-hmm. just been so incredible. <laughs> like mind-blowingly good. Yep. Even when she's bad, she's good. That's the crazy really? part yeah. of it. Because last week we got on about the ball yeah. cap, but it was just the ball cap. The look itself was still stunning. So even when she's bad, she's good. So I, yeah, yeah I, I might have to agree with you, David. I might have to agree with you. <laughs> so good. She does not cut corners. Well, most most of the time she does not cut corners. And she there cut are, her face, but not corners. Even though she's got the scissors, no corners cut. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just the face, just the face. Just the face. Ah, uh, yeah. When she turned that corner, when that door opened up, I was like, get the freak out of here. It was one of those moments where you paused it and like, hold on. Hold on, I'm not seeing this. And I caught pause and came back. And I was just like, oh, because usually I just watch it on my phone. Yeah, I usually watch the Mans on my phone. I'm laying in the bed. Da, da. Today I took uh put it on my TV and I was what, laying down and I was watching it. And I was just like, oh, hold on. Hold, hold. Seeing it in the bigger screen, I was like, I should have been watching this on big on my TV the whole time instead of my phone. Because I feel like it's a great something. experience. I've been watching the whole season on my TV. <laughs> Yeah, I've been watching it on my phone. I feel like I, I cheated myself. I should have been watching it on my TV. But but that was still that was so good. And then I love, I love, love, love that she was like, yes, I'm going to do Edward Edward hand, But I'm going to still give you a red carpet look for Edward hand. She cut out the thighs and gave us a whole mermaid fit gown at the bottom. Yes. And it's Stupid good. Stupid. And I was and I was like, I don't even care that we saw this choker in the video because that's the same choker we saw in the video. I don't care. I don't care. I didn't <laughs> notice. I didn't I, notice. I noticed it when I came out. I was like, oh, that's the same choker from the video, but it looks so much better in this look. So I'm very excited. It was so good. The hair, stunning. The makeup, stunning. She ate this week. Down, down, period, point blank, and the period. You know, I was going to suggest that we do a top 10 favorite looks from this season. I don't think we're going to be able to narrow it down to 10. Mm-hmm. I think we might have to do 20. <laughs> That'd be tough. Which I think we should do. Um, but I think we might have to do 20. <laughs> But I mean, what what do I what even is there for me to say that hasn't already been said? Like, I honestly don't know. This is stupid. She's stupid in the best way. This is stupid. Why are we even here? What is what is existence? I don't even know anymore. Just bitch. Yeah. Overflowing. Oh. 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 My room is full of water. I'm swimming oh, right now good. in water. Me too, David. Just I sent her a water. tip on PayPal after this. Really? Oh, I so did. good. I was like, I deserved. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Deserved. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Deserved. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, deserved. Deserved. Yeah. Duh. Just, uh, this is so stupid. Is it? Cali Caracas. Cali, Cali, Cali. This. So I will say, we've seen a lot of Cruella looks over uh-huh. the years on Drag Race. They've they've been done. It's not the most creative look that she could have done. With that said, she looks absolutely stunning. Stunning. Mm-hmm. Like, this is probably the best Cruella look I've seen. Um, her body is so right in this. She really did. She she was smart to save this. Well, I mean, it wasn't her choice. Obviously, they had predetermined order. But it just worked out well that she started with such a strong look. And she's ending with a really strong look, too. It's not my favorite thing she's worn all season. But it it it's up there. Um, the only thing I did get distracted by it, that lipstick that got on her chin, and you can see it in this photo. Yeah. But I, I just kept looking. I'm like, was that on purpose? And I'm like, no, that was not on purpose. Um, yeah, I, I really like this. Yeah, I like the look. I I really did. I thought this. Was, I agree. I think it's one of the best Corellas that we've seen in a minute, uh, and we've seen a lot. Just this year alone, we've seen a lot, and but she did it well. Only thing that distracted me was the tape. I, I didn't want to see the tape, but I see the tape, and I saw the tape the whole time, and I was like, "No, Kelly, pull, pull it just, just a little bit." But I guess when your Not body looked like that, <laughs> when I, I guess when her body is that sickening and the dress is fit just that way, you can't help when your boobs don't. And I get it, because sometimes your boobs have a mind of their own, and they don't let you be great. They won't let you be great. They be nip-slipping and all that other stuff when you're not trying to do it. I get it, but she looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, the red lipstick is a little bit distracting, but that wig, uh, I'm glad she put the black and the white on the opposite sides mm-hmm. with the wig, so it kind of, that whole disproportion, I love that. I thought it was, she was, she looked beautiful. She looked beautiful. It's very good. It's just those finishing details that definitely kind of kind of make it miss a little bit for me. Um, I agree. I'm glad. I'm glad the uh, the cheat sheets were covered at the very least. But I do wish you know there was a little bit more double sided tape on there. And I know that happens. But you're in the semifinals of La Mastraga Six, so like it. it I, those are things that just have to be brought up. The lipstick on the chin. What I didn't really like is I didn't like that the bow on the back is literally attached to the dress with a belt. Oh, really? If you, look at, if you look at it between the polka dot fabric and the tulle, there's a belt that is then holding the, yep. um, I see it the now. bow on there. And it bothered me oh. so much. I see it now. If it was a half black and half white belt, I yeah. wouldn't mind it. But because it's not, or if it was like a thicker belt and it was like reversed color scheme again, I would have loved that. It just didn't seem intentional. And I was like, I wish there was another way. I didn't even need the bow, if I'm being honest with you. I think the gown on its own with the train would have been more than enough. But I do love her makeup here. She's fine. Like what I said, she's finally come into a signature makeup that works for her. And we've seen her do so many different makeups this season. And I do really appreciate that. And this is with the with the little the swooping up. I just she looks great. Of course. I gave her a 92. I'll give her a 94. I'm going to give her a 90. Mm-hmm. Catriona. Can I first start by talking about these uh, guest judges? Mm-hmm. Specifically one of them. Uh, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the curly-headed one, I don't know mm-hmm. his name. I don't need to know his name. Why were you nitpicking this girl so much about the whole like struggles getting this propped out on the stage. Did anybody else try to do something this elaborate? No. Look, I, that was not an issue for me. Sure. She had a couple of struggles in the show. As always, they like to have that ring, ring, whatever extreme noises to like make us notice it because I probably would not have thought much about it. If it wasn't for the show, just amplifying it so much. Cut this girl some slack. It was a very cool concept. I like this a lot. I, th- I think this is one of my favorite things that we've seen from Catriona. I really like the prop. 
that she came out on. Um, I like when she was covered and I liked when she uncovered herself too. And we're still getting signature Catriona. She's really leaning into her name. We get Cat. Um, I thought she was beautiful. Like this, this was really good. Really strong night for her. I agree. I think she was stunning. This black dress is so pretty. It's so, so pretty. And I like what she did with her makeup and then the hair with the cat ears. It was beautiful. I love the silver jacket. The for the the big thing for the reveal was so pretty. And the fact that she had that big jacket on, we did not know what was underneath it. It was like you couldn't tell if it was going to be big or poofy like it is. It was so good. I really liked it. I didn't mind the prop actually messing up because sometimes that happened. It is what it is. It's like, but I get it why they're nitpicking. This is the semifinals. And it's like, sure, sometimes we got to nitpick on the little stuff and it might not be big for you, but in a competition and that's their job is to judge, it's big for them. And so I get it. I'm not, you know, I'm not that mad at it. I understand why, but I didn't think it was anything that I would have been like, you were slipping up. It's not her fault. That I blame the men. I, I, I blame, I, I blame the, the set. Literally, the set literally it was their fault. It was their fault. It wasn't her. She was just sitting there. So I blame uh, uh, the, the, the guys. So, But stunning all the way around. I think she looks beautiful. And that dress, I kind of want it. If I look that good in it, I would want to wear that. So good. So mm -hmm. bejeweled. Yes, yeah, so bejeweled. <laughs> I love this coat, just ruffles on ruffles mm -hmm. on ruffles in this beautiful, like, silver, but lavender also at the same time. It's so mm -hmm. good. The The gown itself is perfect in every possible way. Um, I loved the presentation of it, and it was the guy's fault as to why it didn't move properly. So I'm not going to count that against Catriona, but I really enjoy this. She, I've enjoyed her all season, and scores mm -hmm. <clears throat> she, she gets a 95 for me she gets a 95 for me it's full la kylie's oh la kylie's la kylie's turn to the left <laughs> turn to the right i'm about to say you said oh. like you thought <laughs> <laughs> no. um now I've been I've been probably the the harshest person here on the panel for uh, the Kylie's all season. Um, she she's made it a lot further than I would have allowed her to. But with that said, I do think she looked very nice tonight. Like this, she looks very regal. It's a very like monochromatic, beautiful silhouette. Um, I she looks really good. There's not a lot to nitpick here. The only thing for me is that the standard is so high tonight. It's so high. And she she does look great. Like, I just don't know that she matched pretty much everybody else for me personally. But I really, I do appreciate this. I am seeing growth from her um, this season. So, so I really have respect for her, Kylie's, even though I've been kind of critical of her. So, good job. Yeah, I think I... I think she looks so pretty. Like she looks beautiful in this red. The red is obvious, honestly, her color. It just, it just looks stunning on her. Um, I love that she went with the black wig because I love that wig. It's really pretty, and I, I think it's a beautiful gown. It's very much an award show gown. A gown you would definitely see at somebody's award show, either at an Oscar or Oscar. Tom, <laughs> a Oscar or Tony or something. And that tiny little Tony or Oscar is so cute to me. I was like, yes, girl, get your award. And, and stand there holding like, yeah, they like me. They really like me. It's so good. Like, I think she looks beautiful. I love the uh, jewels around the neck of this dress. Her makeup is beautiful. I, I agree with them when they call her the face because that face is stunning. Those eyes, mm -hmm. that it's it's stunning. She looks beautiful. Cannot say anything bad about it. Uh, as the resident La Kylie's defender here at the Cup, um, I'm very thrilled with this finale outfit. I think she looks incredible in every possible way. Is it on the simpler side? Yes. 
But is it absolutely polished within an inch of its life? Yes. The wig was perfect for me. I love the bang. Her in a short wig. I don't know what it is. But the last like three or four weeks, ever since she started doing this short hair, I'm really enjoying her in a short hair. I think the mug is beautiful. The gown itself is lovely. I love that it had the wrap and then the wrap came down around the shoulder. I thought that was a really elegant touch that, that slayed it for me. I love her. I got mad when they were like, it should have been a Mexican award. I'm like, I know y'all want everything to be Mexican, but sometimes <laughs> maybe maybe she couldn't get a replica of a Mexican award. Uh, maybe maybe uh, think about that. <laughs> y'all want to give her one? I know you're not. She should have brought out her immunity key. I guess she oh lost that. Oh my God. <laughs> um, imagine. The only other thing that I had in my notes that I forgot to say was um, I did expect her to have a story that went somewhere more than it did because we saw the Oscar pretty early on. I honestly thought she was going to reveal into like a big Oscar look, um, which I, that would have been so cool to see that. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I just had like this anticipation that never really uh, got fulfilled. Um, my score was an 83. My score was an 88. I'm going to give her a 93. Oh, Electra. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me say, I was so sad. I was not here last week to celebrate my girl's first win. And everybody let you know in the comments, too. I know, too. I know. Because, I, yeah, I, I really should have been there to talk about it. Because I've been waiting for that moment. Um, and it felt so good when it finally came. Um, but this, I'm obsessed with. This, I don't know if the inspiration was Ursula. But that's what I got from it. I got, like, a creepy, like, r more realistic version of what Ursula might look like. Um, and I really loved it. Like, her makeup is so stunning here. She just really knows how to bring looks that are in the same family, but still very different throughout the season. Um, but she also loves to have that signature, like liquid coming out of her mouth, goo, blood, whatever it is, it's coming out. Um, so I, I just, I was obsessed with this and you get the little touch of her style too, in the tights there too. Like that was not a hindrance for me at all. Mm -mm. I, I love this. I love this. I love Electra. I I agree. I love this look. I think she's so. Her point of view is so uniquely her, and I love that that she doesn't stray away from it, regardless of what the theme is. She is always going to be Electra. She's like, I live on this planet wherever I am by myself with my people. We know who we are, and. When we go dressing up for whatever night we go out of, this is what we wear. And you just need to get on board with it because we good like we are. And like it's so good. She doesn't stray away from her point of view. And I just I just really, really love it. I think she looks stunning. I love the signature tight and her being it, it doesn't distract me from it at all. I love the the arm things and the way that she was just slide going back and forth and giving it that movement it was just like it wasn't just she wasn't just holding it she was actually moving with it and it's so good this moves so well on the runway and it looked like it shouldn't but it did it moves so well and that hair hat wig stupid 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 her makeup is stupid i look here and i'm gonna say this now if electra wins this i would not be mad at all, it will be well deserved because she is saving her stunners at the right time. She is stunning at the right time of the competition. And I absolutely love her journey. Absolutely love her journey. Duh. <laughs> That's really all I have to say, if I'm being honest, is just, what the fuck? And also, how the fuck? And also, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> and also, fuck you. <laughs> and that's about it. 
Hello. Mm-hmm. Have a cup. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I really wish I I um produced these cups myself and could make them myself and had like a bunch of them sitting here because right. I feel like I want to send these to all the people we give these cups to be like yeah. <laughs> here, just have a that cup. would be like, a lot. Yeah, like I wish I was that. It wouldn't that be I many if it's <laughs> the ones I do it for. I mean, no, because it, it is not for everybody. It's not for every full cup we give because we give quite a few, yeah. but it's just for those ones that's just. Girl, those Universal ones that ones. just right very much make you go ah, uh, and I just want to ship them all to whoever. Like here, girl, take the thing. We'll have our cup. Love is gonna say, "Have a cup." Like that'll be the tag. Right? I love have, a have a cup. Uh, can we, Lana? Can we get that on the inside rim of the cup? Now you know I don't know. I don't know if they do that, but I'll find out. Thank I'll check and see. Have you. a cup, her. Have a okay. cup on us. Oh, ooh, <laughs> I'm going to redesign the cups, and we're going to have to all buy new cup mugs. I'm going to redesign I mean, these cup mugs. And but we, we will them. always have the OG. Of we course. Some shirts, too. I, I know. I need, <laughs> I, Lana, I love you dearly, and I do love this cup mug with every fiber of my being. I need a bigger one, please. <laughs> I mean, now that I don't know about. I, can do. I can't control how big it is. <laughs> I think you can do a 16-ounce option. Well, I'll check it out. But what I what, where I was, I think this was the only cup that they had at the time. Now this was at the time. It could have okay. expanded more later. Later, but we'll check it out. We'll check it out and see. Riveting conversation. For- Riveting conversation. <laughs> Welcome to our <laughs> mid podcast episode production meeting. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, full disclosure: I've not seen any of these looks that we're about to see, so you're going to get my fresh David's reaction. David slacking. David slacking because guess who watched week. it. Now, I did think, I watch it right before we started the recording? Yes, I did, but I watched it. Did I watch it six hours ago when I made the slideshow? Yes. <laughs> See, look at you, but, not slapping. I know. Um, quick thoughts, quick scores? Yes. So the episode is not two hours long? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Ankh. Um, and I guess I'll start because I have mm-hmm. the most exposure to these looks. <laughs> that makes sense. This is fucking perfection. I'm, again, hi, guess what? Broken record over here. I, once again, am so pissed that Ankh went home as early as they did because this is fantastic. The only problem I have is I wish if you're going to do a body with a bodysuit like that, I just want, if if you're going to do something like that, I either need a more masculine silhouette and I need it to be a little bit boxier or I need a more feminine silhouette and I need it just a little bit cinched because where it's at right now, it just wasn't my absolute favorite thing. Mm-hmm. But otherwise everything on this is perfection. Um, gets a 99 for me. I agree with you. I wanted it a little bit more of a, either a cinch or a fuller, like, and if we're going to do the, the non by like gender thing, I want it to be like, more obvious. Like, this is what I'm doing. But it was still great. I still loved it. It's a 90, 95 for me. Well, I have no problems with the shape based on the pictures I'm seeing here. I get like, this is a more masculine presenting look for Ankh. Um, and I appreciate that. I think Ankh is showing us that easily in the top four uh, sure, packages sure. of looks, if not top three. For There's sure. an argument for top two. Um Ooh. But yeah, this is going to be a 96 for me. Mm-hmm. Peaches. So it was like a cape situation with then a more like simple bodysuit sort of situation. Body I think it's a, body con dress. Body con dress. I think it's a reference to something and I'm so sorry. I don't know the reference. Um, but I don't think this is the worst thing Peaches has worn. It's not my favorite thing she's worn, but I think it's really good. I like the wig. The makeup is good. The garment itself is good. I love the material. I'm going to give her an 80. It's simple. It's giving me very um, Teen Choice Awards, maybe. Very kinda. Teen Choice Awards. Very Let's Teen lie. Choice Awards. Yeah, but yeah, but like maybe even MTV Awards. You know she's what a, I mean? She's a teen girl, but now she's in her uh, her. her slutty teen era. She's leaving Disney Channel. She's yes. going on bigger and brighter things, and yes. now she's 
slutty. Yeah, for the, for the most part. She'll go through that slutty phase, and then she'll grow up and be the mature phase, and that'll we'll totally. see that later. But yeah, I think she's definitely, it's not horrible, it's just not compared to what we've already seen. It's kind of like, mm, below the bar. Very below the bar. Um, I would give this an 80. Uh, yeah, not bad for a peaches look, I would say. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's mm-hmm. interesting to look at, and I I like her makeup. Uh, I hate, uh, sorry, I guess that was shady, but um, you guessed. Yeah. I don't think it was that shady. Go it ahead. wasn't that shady. Wasn't we that shady. we know that she she just was not ready like a lot of the others were, and that's just a fact. But um, but she's lovely. Um, let me give this. I'll give you a sixty nine. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> stupid Rolio. He's so Rally-o. stupid. Oh, Rolio. Oh, go ahead, love you. I love it. It's so stupid. <laughs> and the way they were coming out on the runway, just going. <laughs> the whole time, it's so stupid. <laughs> I loved it. It's. Stupid in the best way. the The whole thing is really well done. It's a ninety for me. You know I love me some Braulio, and when Braulio gives me what I love, I gotta just give the flowers if I was to do. I love that you came out with the, as the fly, and you had this. And oh, it was so good. It's so stupid. The performance was so dang stupid, but fun, and I loved it. I'm giving Braulio the full cup because I. Right. I just really love the stupidity of this look. It, uh, I love it. Yeah. Um, I think this is a, a huge step in the right direction for Braulio, uh compared to some of the looks we've seen recently. Uh, I think Braulio is like, I would never get into an award show. The best I could hope to be is a fly on the wall at an award show. I think oh, that was actually, I think that I was actually there. Uh their explanation but probably even said well you know what if i'm gonna be a fly on the wall i'm gonna bring my fancy eyeballs i'm gonna be a sexy fly, <laughs> a sexy fly on the wall. <laughs> i think this this is adorable and went for like a realistic uh kind of facial structure i'll, I'll mm-hmm. give it a 91 oh Braulio, i love you i do i'm a fan so she came out in the full thing with the hands. It's a mm-hmm. reference to something. I don't the know Hulk? what it is. I'm so sure. Shrek or the Hulk. I think I'm one or of those two. I think. Yeah. It's, um, so, it's that typical, you know, trope of the big big girl who turns, some spell happens, she wakes up skinny. And now I she's I, I a don't hot remember girl. That. I don't remember. Tell me Venonito did not die. No, he did, no, not die. Not die. No one died. No one died. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, is this the same damn thing we've seen from Borga every damn week? Yeah, kind of. Do I think it's fine? Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It, it's definitely not bad. It's that same white shoe with that strap over the top of the foot that I don't like personally. And the cones, we've seen it from Borga. The wig, we've seen it from Borga. But it's not bad. It's a 77. Yeah, it's fine. 70. I really don't have much to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like the texture of the dress that she reveals into, I guess. Um, and I like the cones. Um, and she's got some shape to her. So, good. She didn't always have shape to her. I'll give her this 75. is her best shape. This mm-hmm. is her best shape for her. Yeah, 75. Played next. Oh, is, she, is she naked? No. no. Oh. I can't even do it because I don't have my, the overhead lights on. But oh, uh, I just want to turn my lights out on this. This was, I was disgusted by this look and absolutely grossed out by this look. And then I was like so mad that she did this look. Everything about this look was just. Uh, I can't. Mm. Hmm. Please, I'm not. This might be one I need to go back and look at because I, I really can't tell what's going on here. 
from the pictures? Okay, she's she's a, a, it's a toilet paper dress, and she's trapped all over herself. Oh. No, it, I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a toilet paper. I think it's literally made out of uh, briefs. Oh, oh. They're white briefs with the. Oh, uh, oh yeah, but there's skid marks on all of them. They're all soiled, and then at the very end, um, Toxico comes out in like a giant, like dirty diaper. Why? Because I don't know, and I don't with, care. With it's with with, with, with toilet paper in his hand, like. It's so weird. It's fucking gross. Well, you're on the wrong show, girl. Uh, 50. Generous. Ariel! Uh, So she came... Yeah, so she came out, the lights were down, the whole thing is lit up uh, with lights and the carousels moving the whole time she's on the uh, on the runway. I really like this. My only gripe, and I know there's a way around this, and I know that this is probably the best way to do it logistically, but I hate the big old straps of the carousel that she's holding, like, that it has to be there. I wish it blended in. I wish she had, like, a jacket or something that, like, covered them or something. But I think the bodysuit is cute. I like the carousel. Her makeup looks great here. I'm not all that mad at it. I'm going to give her a 92. I mean, I get, I like the carousel concept. I just feel like I wish it was a different way that she could have done it. I don't know how else she could have hit those straps, but it's it's okay. I wasn't blown away by it. I was like, oh, a carousel, cute. But like the bodysuit itself, I was kind of like, oh, it was okay. I love her makeup though, and I like this wig with the makeup. It's fine. I just it was okay. I'll give it an eighty-five. It was fine. Yeah, I don't have a strong opinion on this, but it does look good. I, I think it's a cool concept, uh, even if the execution isn't as good as we would have liked. Um, but overall, yeah, pretty solid. I, I give her 83. Chantel. I really like this. I think the the, the dress is cut in a very beautiful way. Um, I love the hip detail. I love the way um, the skirt is actually cut. So it's at a bias, but at a very, like, the length that it's cut at the bias is great. That cape, when she swung it around, was just, ah, this is one of my favorite Chantel looks of the season, honestly. And it's purple. And guess what? We love some purple here at the cup. So I I really enjoyed this from Chantel. I'm going to give her a 97. I do like the dress. I like it. I, I like her makeup more. I think her makeup is so stunning to me that I just can't stop looking at her eyes and the lip in this. It's so pretty. I do like the dress. I love a a, um, a, a train, good train moment when you cut the dress at the back and open it up. And it, it, well, oh, the only thing that would have made this better for me if it was, oh my God, it's pants. But mm-hmm. I do like the skirt. I like, because if it was a pantsuit with that, Wrapper, oh, I would have just been on the floor. But I love the cut of this dress. I like the way it's cut across the chest. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful dress. I think this is the most on theme for me. And um, so I like it. So for me, I would give it a 95. Yeah, I was about to say, it, it seems the most literal for award show look. Um, and I do appreciate cre- creativity, but I also can appreciate a really strong look that's on theme. Um, so yeah, this is, this is very pretty. And those hips are insane. Mm-hmm. Like oh, that picture on the left, like it looks like you could, you could set a purse on that. Mm-hmm. She didn't it's, like a, it. it's like a built-in panier into the, into the gown. You can sit your drink on it. You can sit your drink yep. on it and let it walk I away. Know, <laughs> I don't know what a panier is, but she's panieing it. All right now. Um, so it's, it's those side like cage pieces that you see. It's very Marie Antoinette. When you think of like the cage pieces on the right, side, right, that's right. a pinier. I don't mm-hmm. even think that's a pinier. I just think those are the padding of the hips that she got. Oh, you put think? On. Yeah, I think that is just the hip oh, padding. I think, I think just because of the way the dress is cut, because it's such a severe angle where it comes from the corset to the hip. I think that's a padding thing because it if looks it's like padding, girl. I would love that. Absolutely, it looks like it's but... just it's like from melting from her the torso right to the hip. Oh, like okay. it looks like it's melting right into that. So I think it's a padding thing. 
Oh, I saw it as a bit more severe, but you know, mm-hmm. either way, I think either it's way, it's still good. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I'm I'm looking at that I don't love is I think I don't know if it's highlighter or what, but her face is just so white compared to the rest of her body. So that's mm-hmm. a little distracting for me. Um, but other than that, I think this is very strong. I would I would give this an eighty an eighty two. And last up, our recently dearly departed Demetria. Mm-hmm. I love this. Me it's too. so Demetra going to an award show. I love the combination of this black and white striped fabric then with all of the black vinyl that she has as well going on. It all comes together in such a beautiful way. It bunches and drapes in such a gorgeous way. Um, I just wish there was a little bit more of a defined shape in the actual gown itself. I was missing a little bit of that. But overall, I do still think she looks great. Her makeup here is great. Um, I would give Demetra a 94. I'm in love with this wig. I really am in love with this wig. I want it. And then the fact that she got the vinyl wrapped around the ponytails of the wig to go with the dress. So ties that in with the dress. It's so good. And the way her makeup is it's so good. I really, really like it. I love the, the choker. It just is giving me very Grammys, rock and roll, you know, uh, new uh, new artist or somebody who's trying to come out and be edgy and, and, and giving us the rock and roll feature on the on the carpet. It's so good. I love it. It's giving me Beetlejuice, and I'm loving every second of it. So I would give this a 98. Uh, yeah. First of all, let me say I am sad that Demetra was not in this semifinal. Um, I definitely would have had her in this top six, probably over somebody else. But um... Kylie's, he would have had him. He would have had Demetra there over Kylie's. Don't beat yeah. around the bush, David. But look, Kylie's earned that immunity. She did. She 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 sure found that thing. She did. Um, so so good for Kylie's for for earning her way. To the top six but as far as this look goes i yeah i like that you said beetlejuice because the first thing i saw i was like oh tim burton this is straight mm-hmm. out of a tim burton movie yep. it could be one of many tim burton movies yep. but it's such that aesthetic and i love that aesthetic and it really works for demetri here i think this is so interesting um Easily one of my favorite of these looks and that way i guess is everything um let me give this a 93 Ooh. Well, that's that. And as if we needed more things to talk about, they said, oh, by the way, everybody's lip syncing today. <gasps> Gay shock. NB shock. Truly, currently for me, it's NB shock. <gasps> um, Black woman, woman shock. shock. <laughs> <laughs> Lana shock. Yeah, I'm more. I'm Logan shock. <gasps> Yes, we're extra. David, David Shop. Shop. What? That absolutely tries. That absolutely um, tries. <laughs> we do get announced a winner of the music video challenge, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's Electra. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Deserved. I'm not, Deserved. I'm not playing the audio. But deserved. That's five points for winning the. I'm kidding. Well, that's not five points. <laughs> no. Because we haven't been doing that all season, David. So if we've been doing that all season, then it would have been fine. But we weren't doing that all season. No. No. You're but still leading the draft, whatever. <laughs> so... say relax. Relax, sir. Please. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we find out that everyone is lip syncing, mm-hmm. but Electra, for winning the music video challenge, gets to pick her opponent and her song, Oof. and then the other two matchups are going to be chosen by random tamales. Tamales, I, I love that. I was so obsessed with it. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a tamale until um, Kylie's was pulling hers, <laughs> and I was like, "It's an actual fucking tamale." I like can't. Tamale. Open it up. Open I'm it like, up. Pull the paper out. Marisol giving the giving instructions, being like, the paper is in the tamale. <laughs> just like, 
and she just like whips up this like limp paper <laughs> we're literally. getting ahead of ourselves but literally it was funny, it was funny. okay like, oh my god whenever you all heard what was happening i don't know about you all but i was like oh, are we only getting three people in? that's what i thought me too and i'm like, like how can we make it so that electra juana and arias <laughs> Are all lip syncing against a different person so they can all make it to the top. Well, David, <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> but it did happen. But it didn't happen. And we'll talk about it because Electra picks her song, which I kind of am obsessed with, by the way. I was like, oh, I really like all this three of these song. songs. I was like, oh, they saved the good songs for the semifinal. Disciplina. All right. This, yeah, yes. Disciplina. And so it was Juana versus, she picked Juana. And I was like, okay. And, and Juana, was, was, Juana was like, Electra, pick me. Pick Electra, me. pick me. <laughs> Electra, pick me. <laughs> Love all the, me. Choose <laughs> me. <laughs> I think all the brain waves that Juana had in that moment that she was sending to Electra, she could. She was like, mm-hmm. I mean, that was also the obvious choice for Electra. Obvious, too, because obvious. Uh, because the other four are Dance. dancers, and so but yes, we got Electra and Juana lip singing to Disciplina by Lali. This uh, was okay. Objectively, this was the weakest of the three lip syncs. However, I did still really enjoy this lip sync. I, I, it's I not going to be song. anywhere in my top favorite lip syncs of the year, but I thought it was good. I thought it was fine. They both performed well. I had a winner. Me too. It was Electra for me. It was Electra for me. It was Electra for sure. It was Electra. Juana did not do bad. No, she did not. But she didn't she, do all that great. <laughs> she didn't do much. That was the thing. She didn't yeah. do much. She did what Juana could and would do. And I'm like, okay, I'm not it mad at it. Cute. I love when she did like the little leg flicks. I thought that was really cute. Um overall I thought it was I thought it was good. Um I like and again not seeing half of these people lip sync at all until mm-hmm. this point, I was like, I don't even know what these lip syncs are gonna be. Um but yeah I thought this was overall a very solid lip sync. Um Electra. Yeah. She was. Yeah. I agree. But if we were ranking each person individually for their lip sync, I might be worried for both of these people. Mm -hmm. Um, If we were ranking everyone individually, they would have been fifth and sixth. And I'm just going to be real honest and Mm -hmm. genuine Mm -hmm. about that because, quite frankly, the other four slayed eight down. For sure. I have have an order for them, too. But, But. So then the other four were chosen by Random Tamale, which means our second matchup was Catriona versus La Kylie's. Lip syncing to Slow Mo by Chanel. And I said, oh my God. When I so I, for people that don't know, I'm a huge Eurovision fan. Slow Mo was one of my picks to win uh, in 2021. And it did not win. I was very upset about it but it's fine. <laughs> and it has gone on to be a bigger hit than any other song that year. So, <laughs> and the fact that the Spanish public didn't originally want that song and they were going to pick another song that was equally as good, but very, very different. Meh. But when I saw a tamale on that damn platter that said slow I said, no, no. Because they had only done it in a challenge so far on Drag Race Hispania. I was like, we're getting a slow-mo lip sync. I was like, please, for the love That's of God. Good no. <laughs> no, it was great. I was like, please, <laughs> please, for the love of God, just give me one thing and let Catriona be in this lip sync. I don't care who she's lip syncing against. I was just like, I need Catriona lip syncing to this song to fulfill my fantasy. And then she did. And I have to say, these were for me the two best performances in the lip syncs by far. And I thought this was the strongest lip sync of the night. One of the strongest lip syncs of the season for me. I Katriona for me clearly won, but I think Kylie's held her own in a very strong way and in a way that I don't think we had seen yet from her. And I was thoroughly impressed with Kylie's as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think Katriona came out with such force. So immediately I was like, oh, she won. 
And then the more I watch, I'm like, okay, come on, Kylie's. Come on. You're making me scared. Because uh, no tea, no shade. Or all tea, no shade, I guess. Whichever is more fitting. I did want Kylie's to leave. Um, so I was getting... What? I, I was getting nervous for Catriona. Um, but yeah, they were both, both really, really good. Um, were they my top two of the night? I don't know. They, they, it, it's quite possible. I thought both of the final two lip syncs were, were really strong. So I agree. It was a close call for me. I mean, I thought Cassiano definitely won this one. And I think Kylie, Kylie's did a really good job with this one. I think in my ranking, Cassiano would probably be at the top of my list, but La Kylie's would probably be like third. For me, um, I think she was good, and I think Catriona was really good. Um, but even Catriona kind of, I was a little like, okay, give me, give me a little bit more, because um, Lakali's just gaining on you, and you just standing here doing the same thing. We know you can whip your hair. We know you can, you know, give us that. Uh, 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 but you better step it up, because Lakali's is coming for you, and. I wanted a little bit more from Catriona. I was waiting for, because that runway where she was just giving us the tricks out of this world, the and she one. was the cat one. I yeah. want that in the, the runway one. on the lip sync. I <laughs> the want cat one is that. if she's done one. The cat one, yeah. But, but no, but we all know what we're talking about the when item. we say the cat one. The, the cat, cat one. The dead cat, cat one. Absolutely. And it was just so good. And I wanted yeah. to see more of that in this lip sync. And I feel mm-hmm. like this song could have, you know, asked for that. I think she gave us video vixen kind of moments on that stage. And it was like, ah, da ba ba ba. Do, do, you it, know, it, it was very it's choreographed. Heavy. Well, it's interesting you say that, Lana, because Catriona was literally doing the slow-mo choreography during the course. Mm, like, she was, was doing the exact choreography. It and that's what I was, I was freaking out as a huge fan of both Catriona and Chanel. I was like... <gasps> Oh my God, she's doing the choreo. It's like all of the all of the people that are like, oh my God, my favorite pop song is a lip sync on Drag Race. And oh my God, they're doing the choreo. It's like when they did the single ladies uh, choreography mm-hmm. on the single ladies lip sync on Drag Race, I was like, oh my God. But when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, she's doing the choreo. She's a fan. I love them. Yeah. So I, I think that's maybe why the first half of Katrina's performance was a little bit more stilted and a little bit more post, 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 because that's the exact choreo. Yeah, it looked very cho- like a choreography, like some, she was doing some choreography, and yeah. I didn't know that, but it looked like it, and so I wanted more of Catriona and not the slow mo choreography for me. Sure, but and I, and I like well? when yes, yeah, and she, I like. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Go ahead. You liked when. I liked when, like, she, I love that she did the choreo, and then after that, into the dance break, she was doing a lot more of her own stuff, and that's why I was like, I was like, I appreciate the respect to the choreography from the original, but also then doing your own thing. That I liked mm-hmm. that blend of it mm-hmm. for sure. I get it. And I get it. And I liked it. It was fine. I still say she was better than everybody on there. So for sure, she would be the top for me. Yeah. But yeah, it was good. Yeah. I could gush four hours about this. But we, we but really we, don't have that time. We really don't. <laughs> Because we still have to talk about our last lip sync, Arias yes. versus Kylie lip syncing to El Anillo Pa' Cuando by J-Lo. And I'm happy we got a redemption for this song as a lip sync on a drag program. I'm going to be real honest. Okay. Because the first time this was lip synced on a drag program, it was bad. Who did it? It was um, Estrella Extravaganza and Marina on season two mm. of Espana. It was the final four lip sync where they both stayed, even though they were both bad. I think I remember that now, yeah. I hmm. remember it because it was bad, and I was like, the first time we get a J-Lo lip sync internationally, and it's just bad. But this was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I Yeah, I really like this one, too. I thought this was super strong. Uh... uh I kind of thought Kelly ate. <laughs> I kind of, and I, I will, I will be the first to say she's very smart. She, she's done this a few times where she wears like fringe 
um, outfits when she lip syncs and the fringe does a lot of the work for her, but it's mesmerizing. And she was, she was, I think this was my favorite Kelly lip sync we've seen this season. So, uh, she just really delivered. And if I had to pick a winner based on the lip sync, it probably would have been Kelly. And thank God that's not how they did it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought this was a really strong lip sync. I agree. And I think at times Kelly was doing a little bit much. But I think it's it's a, it's really difficult with a mid tempo song like El Anillo. Like it is not the most energetic song. It is not the most bombastic song in the world. And I think they both did. They both took a very different approach. Where I think, um, I think Kelly went with high energy, which is what we know her to do. And Adias kind of stayed in her pocket a little bit. She had choreo. It was good. She knew the words. It was very strong. It was engaging. I, I saw myself going back and forth when they were both on stage. I was like, I'm going back and forth between them. But I think for me, whose performance do I remember more now as we talk about it right now? Kelly. I'm going to disagree with both of you. I feel like the reason I, re I know both, I remember Kelly's performance is because it was so phonetic, because it was just so all over the place that I couldn't hone in on what she was doing because it was just so much and the song didn't cause for that. I'm a very musical person and I like the musicality in a song and I listen to the musicality in the song and when she was flipping when it really wasn't necessary and she was on the floor bam, 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 and I'm like it doesn't cause for that because the song is just like she's, she was just doing way too much for me to enjoy what she was doing and for audience for me was just like engaging into what the song was saying and what the song was doing. And it was just like, uh, I'm performing, I'm hitting the beat, like da, 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 da. you know, it wasn't such I felt like Kelly was that firecracker that she, it was trying to contain itself, but just couldn't. It was like, no. I'm just gonna go and she just went into the But boom. isn't that just Kelly in general? It is Kelly in general. <laughs> I, mean, I think that's what they were real. trying to I think for real, for the, real. The, the, like, <laughs> for real, it's like Kelly, that. for real. But like I, I think that's what they were like saying for her. She has to learn how to contain it a little bit when it's song when the song calls for containment. Like she was flipping and doing a lot of stuff when it didn't call for that, and it was like losing the rhythm for me and I was I for me so for me I enjoyed Adia Adia's performance a little bit better because it was I could see and feel the music the musicality within her performance it just seemed like all over the place for Kelly for me totally totally understand that well we then get the announcement of our top four and first announced as a finalist is Electra. Yeah. Period. As you should. And that's when I'm like, Juan is out. Juan is not in the finale. I knew yeah. they were going to do four. I had a feeling they were going to do four. Um, I thought there was a chance they might have like a wild card pick. But yeah, my, my, heart went, my, my heart went in my stomach when I saw Juan. I was, I was like, no. No. And no, that's but deserved for Electra. Yes, second they announced. Adios. Deserved. 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 Yeah. And then yeah. Catriona. Deserved. Good Deserved. 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 And then I was like, I'm going to be sad regardless of who goes home because I yeah. really do enjoy all six of these people. But I think rightly so, mm -hmm. Juana is announced as the fourth finalist. Mm -hmm. Woo! And so we say goodbye to Kelly and Kylie's. And I think, um, unfortunately, as much as as much as I am very upset to lose two of my three draft <laughs> members in one episode, I do think it was, say it with me, deserved. deserved as much sure. as I do, as much as I've grown to love both of these entertainers, yes. I just yes. think there was just a very clear top four I, Kelly and Kylie's were just a little bit behind them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had a little bit more ups and downs. Mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. A little bit more, yeah. yeah. But and man, sure. I thought Kelly, I've, based on that first episode, so 
she was the first and second draft pick. Yeah. She had such a strong first episode. Like, yeah, man, I wish she could have kept up that level throughout the season. Yeah. Yeah. But Kylie's kind of had the opposite for me. She, she started as such a like invisible person and then she just slowly was chugging upwards, 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 upwards. So good for her. Like I, I, I think she really did redeem herself and I, I'm glad she was able to um, win that lip sync early on um, against Perga so that we could see what she had to offer. Mm-hmm. I mean, as the resident Kylie's fan on the podcast all season, more so than both of you, I, I, I loved getting to experience more of Kylie's. I, I love the fact that we got to know her more and we got to see more than just the pretty girl, which is kind of, I mean, that's kind of all we saw from Peaches. And to be fair, that's kind of all Peaches brought. But I've loved to get to know Kylie's and Kelly as well. And I think we are left with just an incredibly strong top four going into the finale. I want to talk about finale things, but I want to talk about our draft update very fast quickly because the competition has heated up in the final moments lana is making a last a last push <laughs> and there is a chance lana could win the draft now because there were not scores given out to anyone in this episode we decided that the fairest way to go about uh scores for our draft purposes is just to give all four of the finalists 10 points going into the finale. Um, As far as finale scoring is going to go, if they bring it down to a top two or a top three, the runners up will receive seven points each. The winner will receive 10 points. And there are two other awards that are given out as well. I think one is Miss Congeniality and I think the other one is Best Look. Um, And in those cases, both of those uh, will receive five points each. Because that kind of just seems like the fairest way to do it if both of you are okay with it then i'm okay with that so uh lana is currently sitting at 531 points i'm sitting at 550 points and david is sitting at 554 points so it's anybody's game lana is the only person left with two uh people on their team so lana has adiez and juana I've got Catriona and David has Electra. So, mm-hmm. we... and Lana's been at two people for quite a while. Mm-hmm. And we said it when she went down to two people, we we're like, well, well she got two really good people. Oh, she literally yeah. lost to meet her last week. Oh. Yeah, to meet her last week. Yeah. You've been at two people two. for a while. And we've been saying to you, oh, mm-hmm. you're down to two people, David. Mm-hmm. But oh, yeah. Yeah. who is my, oh, I had um, Ariel. Ariel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We've all been pretty, it's it's been pretty consistent. It's just Mm -hmm. Lana lost Ankh and Braulio very early. Very early. early. Oh, very early. And I'm glad that you're still, but then also to counteract that, I had peaches. Yes. Yes. So. I will say the only person who I should have actually not lost was Ankh in this competition. I'm just saying. I think Braulio left before his time, their time. Portugal should have gone earlier. Yeah. Anyway, the, yeah. Uh, the Braulio left was not a bottom look. I all. agree. I agree. But. but we find out more about the finale. Um, we find out that there's going to be one final look, uh, which is a representation of Mexico. Seemingly, from from context clues that were given, it seems like that is the finale category every year. So I love that. I'm very excited to see it. And then each of our finalists will be performing an original routine to an original song mm. live on the finale stage. For them. I love it. I'm here and for it. 360. Thank you. I was like, I don't remember what the, yeah. I did was, not remember what the What I love most about Mexico and the most 360. Those are the Ooh. two challenges. Thank Ooh. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we have our finalists and what is actually really interesting. So we didn't cover the auditions for Lamas because we at that mm-hmm. time were not planning to cover Lamas 6. And boy, am I happy that we did. 
Mm-hmm. But um, from the audition process, um, I don't know if this is a thing that happens every year. Let us know in the comments. But uh, some people were cast directly between the audition videos and the actual live audition that they did. And then some people were announced to be part of the season uh, the same episode that the uh, the auditions happened or shortly thereafter and presumably didn't participate in the auditions. I'm not sure. Again, I haven't watched it. But of those four people that were announced to be on this season prior to the full cast dropping, three of them are finalists. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because Ariez was the first person announced on the season. Mm-hmm. And then Katriona. Okay. And then Juana. Mm. And the fourth person was Ankh. Wow. Wow. A wow. okay. mess. Okay. Yeah. All mm. right. So, mm. according to the fandom wiki, it lists them as cast directly. And okay. then everybody else is listed as live audition. So, okay. interesting. Interesting. Good to know. But, well that is that um the way we typically do coverage of our drag programming y'all we do not usually cover the reunion in a separate episode um when we usually touch on the reunion uh during the same episode that we talk about the finale that is how we are going to be doing uh things for the moss plus Next week is American Thanksgiving, so we are all taking some very, very much needed time off because um, we need it. Yes. As much as we love Lamas and we love podcasting and we love all of this, we need a couple days off to breathe. <laughs> so yeah. we will not be back next week with an episode talking about the reunion, but we will be back in two weeks to talk about the finale. We're going to have a winner. I'm excited for this reunion too because I think it is going to get spicy based on you know everything we've seen this season. Mm-hmm. Um, but nevertheless, I'm very excited to see how this turns out. And um, I have I have a question for both of you, and you all are on completely different levels here, but seeing who our top four is here, yes, um, in this cast, how does it stack up to? other top fours that you've seen in drag programs? Like, do you gut reaction? Is it the best? Is it top five, top 10? One of the strongest of all time, period. I'm feeling like Look, top two, honestly. I I would safely say top 10. Mm-hmm. I would really have to think about it because I think there's a lot of really strong f- finalist groups mm-hmm. and a couple of really strong finalist groups from this year alone as well um but i would i would safely say top 10 and it's probably more like top five but i'd really have to think about it yeah the only the only one that i can compare and think like oh yeah i like this top four more and it's probably because i've seen a lot more from them is uh drag race season nine i was thinking the exact same top four Mm-hmm. So, Lana. Um, for me, since this is just my first year, it will probably be in my top five. Um, because I really haven't seen a whole lot, but maybe even my top three, if I'm gonna be honest. Sure. It's probably up there in my top three as of right now for the top four because we had some really good ones. For me, I think. Uh, France was a very top yeah. one. Um, I feel like even the Philippines was a pretty decent top four. Mm. I think this one would be, I think for me, France, then Lamas, then Philippines for me in that three. I think that's incredibly solid. Yeah, right yeah for me, for me. For, yeah, I think that would be my top three as of right now. And I really think a lot of it has to do with emotion. And how I feel about watching these top four and how I feel about watching those top four. And so for me, France just did something to my whole spirit and my soul. And so I really like for me, France is one of the best ones for me that I've watched thus far. But 
this one is giving me those same kind of, oh, but I really love these queens and France. And even throw in um, uh, Down Under for me because I really appreciated mm-hmm. the top four and Down Under as well. So they might be four or five, but yeah, yeah for me, that'll be mine because I think, yeah, I go by emotions. I'm an emotions girl. I'm a very emotional, so. Totally. I was, think, I was thinking about a couple while you were giving your answer, Lana, and like, this is in no particular order, but I'm thinking like season three of US, I'm thinking uh, All Star Six, Dragula season two, um, so both seasons of Philippines, quite honestly, both seasons of France, um, UK four. season two, Dragula season four, I think two would probably be up there. Um, season 15, I think would be up there for me. Um, I mean, I think, I think season thir- I think these season 13 would be up there for me as well. I mean, like there's a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm about to say with the vast knowledge that you and David have of Drag Race, <laughs> yeah. you would really have to sit and think about this because coming off the top of the brain, you will come later be like, oh, but what about this season? And this, oh, hundred percent. So, oh my God, season five. Wait, two, oh well, yeah, yeah exactly. Two, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> absolutely, we're not going to do this all night because no, absolutely no, not. Absolutely no, not. I wasn't planning. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I, that's a good question, though, David. That's but what good. about this season? Yeah. Stop it! Stop it! For real, because <laughs> I will leave this podcast. I will put the trap door on myself. <laughs> I do want to ask a final question before we end, so that way our episode is not two hours. We'll be just under, but not two. Mm-hmm. Uh, quick, rapid fire: Who is your winner pick? Adios. Electra. I want to say Catriona, but I'm going to say Juana. I wouldn't be mad at that either. And I also wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad at any of them winning. And that's the first time in a very long time that I'm like, I genuinely will react the exact same way if any of these top four win. And I, I love having that feeling on a, on a, on a season of, of drag programming, but. I will not. I there are three for me that have displayed excellence from the very 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 beginning. So if the fourth one wins, I'll be happy for them. I won't be mad, but I just won't have that same feeling of satisfaction that I would get from one of the other three. I won't call you out on who that fourth person is because I know who it is, and I don't want you to get hate. I think so. everybody knows who it is. They listen I'm to just the podcast. They know. Say it like I did earlier with Kevin. yes. Anyway. Yeah. We love that for you. Yes. Got your own though. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Let the pussy breathe. I, I love her. David, Thank you. I love her as a great fourth place. <laughs> Period. All right. Anyway. Thank you for joining us for another two hour episode of Lamas coverage because we just can't seem to do it in under. <laughs> There was one time we did it in like an hour, and that was about it. But we just have so much to talk about. (laughs) We're literally right here. (laughs) Lana and I said, we're going to do this in a tight hour 10, and we did it in like an hour six. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us. Again, thank you all so much, all of you Lamas fans, for all of your support. We do truly appreciate it. We will be starting our Lamas journey from the beginning very, very soon. Like we said at the top probably in January, but we'll see what happens. It, by the finale, we should have a better idea of what we're doing, so we will let you know then. Uh, but in the meantime, make sure to go check out all of our coverage of this season, as well as all of our other drag programming that we are currently covering our channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit all the buttons that say you support us, because we do truly appreciate your support. Make sure to follow us on our socials, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at the Cup Pod. You can go follow the three of us down in the description below as well. And you could go get your merch, including but not limited to the Cup Mug. You need to get that trademark, Lana. Um, and on that note, cheers. Cheers. For real. For real. They've been sad. They've been oh, sad. I'm so sad that this season is ending. <laughs> They've been sad. They've been sad. They were that. They were that. They were that.